Practice problem number four associated with sample problem B. A tiger leaps with an initial velocity of 55.0 kilometers per hour at an angle of 13.0 degrees with respect to the horizontal. What are the components of the tiger's velocity? So we have a situation in which we have four directions. We can use our normal ones. We have a situation in which we have a tiger has a velocity in the air, good leaping, of 55.0 kilometers per hour. But with respect to horizontal, again, here's the horizontal. We got, again, here's the angle because it's 13.0 degrees with respect to horizontal, so it's going up that way, 13.0 degrees. We are being asked to solve for the components, x and y. So here's my x, here's my y. Again, um, the question here is, when I, when I set this up, am I, should I use the sine or cosine? Well, what are your rules for sine and cosine, right? So Katoa, when I am solving for my y component. I need to understand that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. And if you don't believe me, I can represent this. Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And in this case, I'm trying to solve for that y component, which is opposite side. So that means I have to solve for the opposite side here. So multiply both sides by hypotenuse so that I can cancel hypotenuse in the uh, denominator over there. And I have opposite is equal to hypotenuse times the sine of the angle. Well, the opposite is the velocity in the y component, right? Velocity in the y component. The hypotenuse is the resultant. And then I take the sine of the angle. And for completeness sake, let's <clears throat> figure out the cosine here. Uh, what is cosine? Cosine obviously is adjacent over hypotenuse, right? And so from with respect uh, to the angle, the adjacent side is the x component, the x component, right? Adjacent over hypotenuse. So I'm trying to solve for the adjacent side. So I need to solve for adjacent. Well, in order to get adjacent all by itself on one side of the equation and multiply both sides by hypotenuse and so that leaves me with adjacent being equal to hypotenuse multiplied by cosine and that will give me uh, the way to solve for my velocity in the x component okay which is hypotenuse the resultant multiplied by the cosine of the angle so i have both setups that i need and all i'm left to do is plug in these values. Fifty five point zero kilometers per hour by the cosine of thirteen degrees. Um uh, and then I'm going to report my answers, uh, both of them, I guess, with three significant figures, because um, uh, both of these have three significant figures. So uh, taking into consideration all the gobbledygook that my calculator gives me, for my y component, I'm going to have a final answer of 12.4 kilometers per hour up. Right, because it's the y component or upwards in the vertical direction, however you want to say it. And then again, with three significant figures, this would end up to be what was what does it look like? Um, we go 53.6 kilometers per hour. Um, well, the tiger's leaping, so I guess it's forward. I mean, unless it's jumping backwards. I mean, I've never seen a cat jump back. Well, no, that's not true. But that was weird. That was on a YouTube video. Let's go normal. This tiger is probably leaping forward. 
Again, uh, the way I've drawn my initial setup here, this x component, um, uh, this component is moving in the positive direction in the x uh, in the x direction. Again, according to the coordinate system that I've already agreed upon, uh, we'll, we'll just call that forward. And those are your two components of this tiger's leap.